and I know I can't be the only one who is dreaming of a vacation down south to escape the cold right now. Maybe get a little sun on that pasty white skin. I know I could use some. Are you going? Maybe say for spring break? Can I come? <laughs> no? Okay. Well, uh, maybe I can help you out with a couple of uh, outfit ideas to lounge around on the beach in. So the two types of fabric you'll need is a chiffon sheer like fabric. I got about a meter of that. And if you want a longer skirt or dress, get around two meters. Get some stretchy material as well. I did 0.3 of a meter and you'll need needles, thread, uh, also some scissors and some chalk. So take that sheer material, open it up, and we're going to use the width to measure around our bust line or our waist. If you just want it to be a dress, measure it around your bust. And if you want it to double as a skirt, you'll need to measure around the waist. As you can see, it needs to be a little bit bigger to fit around my hips. So measure that and mark it where those two pieces of fabric meet, where the draping will happen and where the opening is. You can do that with chalk or a needle. Again, do this with the stretchy fabric and make sure you are stretching it a little bit so that it fits snugly around your waist and measure that, mark it again with some pins. So I'm just trimming that piece of fabric now that I've made my mark. And then afterwards, we're going to need to sew this together. So I doubled this up because it was a little thin and it needed to not be see-through so I threw some pins in and then you're going to take this through the sewing machine and stitch those two pieces together. To note, while you are doing this stitching you need to pull the fabric tight because you will lose all of the stretch if you don't do this. I made the mistake of doing that the first time. So just make sure you are stretching that fabric as you are stitching along there. I just did a simple straight stitch and this is what it looks like when it's all done. As you can see, I can still stretch it, which is exactly what we want. So go ahead and flip that inside out. So now we have the seam on the inside and then we're going to take the two edges here and simply just stitch those together. It's kind of creating a tube top for the dress and also the top for our skirt. So just stitch that straight and you can stretch it a little bit. It doesn't need to be stretched that much. Moving on to the chiffon fabric, that's the edge that the fabric had when I bought it at the store and I actually didn't mind that. But the other edges need to be sewn together so that they don't fray. So I'm rolling that edge in here and stitching along that. You can pin it in place or you can roll it along as I was doing. It does take a little while to do but you only have to do it on one edge because the other edge is going to be sewn to the top that we just created. So once you finish that, it looks like this. Now we are going to move on to compiling this dress. I made a lot of mistakes while I was doing it, but I finally figured it out. Lay the top out as if you were to wear it. That seam is on the inside at the back. Then take your chiffon, and at that point where you marked it, where the two pieces of fabric meet, you're going to start to stitch that on the top of that tube top that we created. So this is exactly what the dress is going to look like when you're done. You again need to make sure that you're pulling that stretchy fabric while you are stitching this along the outside. And then when you get to where the pieces of fabric meet, just do a couple of back stitches, leave that open. The slit can be wherever you like it and the dress and skirt should look something like this when you are all done. for yourself. I'd love to see what it looks like when you're all done. So you can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter and just tag me in any of those photos. Use the hashtag 2DIY4. And you know what? Go ahead and rub it in my face. Leave in the comments below where you're going on vacation. And if you're not going on vacation, dream with me. Where would you rather be right now? Anywhere in the Caribbean is what I would say. Anywhere. <laughs> So you can leave that in the comments below. Also feel free to give me any suggestions for upcoming videos you'd like to see me do as I do a video every single Wednesday. So don't forget to subscribe and I will talk to you next week. Cheers. It's gonna have to do. That's a little bit better. You know what? Um, I actually, this is really not going well. <laughs> what am I saying? Will I run, will I walk? Tongue does